Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So, we are back with the Horn family, i.e. teenager Christy and her older sister Blair who's currently just getting some Z's. So I did like a three part playthrough with these two where Blair had to try and support her teenage sister and then get her way through college. We renovated the whole apartment. It was it was fun. And I was going to end the last episode there, but then I got a bit attached to these two. So I thought maybe I would play through them for another episode or two. Why not? So Blair has uh, finished her degree. Her GPA is A-, minus, so not exactly tip-top, but, you know, it's an A. In fact, she should have her graduation ceremony at some point. Oh, here we go. Tomorrow at 10.46. So Blair's graduated. I think next steps with gra with Blair is we'll get graduation out of the way and then we'll see if we can get a good job. Maybe see if we can get a few promotions. Christy has only done one semester of her university degree, so she still has two courses left to do. Looks like she's getting a bit tired. Why don't I send you to bed, Christy? So her term is going to start on Monday. So I guess for this video, we'll also be helping Christy get through her second semester. But I also thought it might be fun to spice things up a little bit. Part of the challenge with these two was having Blair try and work hard to upgrade the apartment, pay all the bills, support her teenage sister who obviously couldn't work. So there was like an element of challenge to try and juggle all of it. But now, you know, the place is furnished. We've got all new equipment here. We've got a nice bathroom. Nice kitchen, nice everything, so we don't necessarily have the financial strain that we did. So I thought to make things a little bit more complicated, a little bit more messy, like they were in the first two episodes, Christy here is going to get herself a boyfriend and she's going to get herself knocked up. What more drama could you want than a teenage pregnancy? She is still a teen, I added a few more days to her life stage because I wasn't really ready for her to be a young adult yet. Thought it would make more sense if she was a pregnant teen because then that puts even more responsibility on her big sis. And obviously she's got, um, oh, she can't sleep because of the noise from the neighbours. Ugh. Yeah, obviously she's going to be sad about it because she's a teen, so by default she has the does not want to get pregnant, so we're going to have to deal with quite a few negative emotions about this. I have put another teenage boy in the same apartment block. This might even be his apartment, or maybe not. Can't remember which one he lives in. It might even be this one. But yeah, mainly just sort of checking in, complain angrily about the noise. Yeah, mainly just hanging out with these two, checking in, see how Blair gets on post-university degree, and see how Christy deals with education and being a young mum. I'm sorry, you're right, that was inconsiderate. Oh, Judith, finally, seeing sense. Thank you. Okay, let's both go to sleep, try and get some, some rest before tomorrow. Luckily, it is just the weekend, so we don't have anything spectacular that we need to get up for. Okay, cool, cool. So Christy, her weekend, we're just going to prioritise shagging that other teen boy and then also doing all of our homework before our course starts. Blair, you're just going to graduate and get yourself a job. I need to double check as well what, um, what jobs will be able to come in at a higher level for our psychology degree. Or I suppose it will just tell me on the career panel. Okay, Christy, let's get you up, let's get you on the throne and then do you have any cooking skills? Cooking level two, so not much. I love how she's got a mood buff saying, nothing tying me down from the single and loving it lifestyle. There's nothing like the sweet smell of independence after a nice long sleep. Oh, Christy, you have no idea what's coming. Okay, Blair, are you well rested? Yeah, right, get up, take a shower, take a shit, grab something to eat. Okay, Christy, your needs are all pretty good. So I'm just going to queue up some bits of homework for you to do while you sit inside the counter. What's Blair's cooking level? Cooking level four, almost level five. Oh, that's not bad going. That's all right. Okay. If we have enough time before your your little graduation, let's stick, let's stick the laundry on. I've got a lucrative opportunity for someone who doesn't ask too many questions. I need you to hold on to a stack of simoleons I'm planning to launder until the trail turns cold. Sure, it might not be legal or moral, but it'll help line your pockets. You know, we don't always have to be the good guy. You know what I'm saying? We've got a teenager who's about to be pregnant. Take the money. Take the fucking money. That was worth it. 1,129 simoleons with no repercussions. Oh, that might have been the best decision I ever made. The graduation ceremony. Yes, let's go. Not that I'll be able to attend. I won't actually be able to see anything, but at least we'll be there to support Blair. 
celebrate her achievements. Okay, um, attend graduation. Go on, girl, get it done, girl. Look at her, so proud. So proud of what she's achieved. Oh, why are you sad? Oh, from failing at a holiday. Oh, well, you're in your graduation ceremony. That's better than talk like a pirate day. Hey, you're back. Congratulations. Finally, Blair has reached this milestone achievement and is on top of the world. So proud of you, Blair. So proud. Right, let's get back home. I bet Christy isn't still doing her homework. Sims never carry on doing what you ask them to do when you leave. They're like dogs. You leave them for a second, they forget you exist. I'm pretty sure dogs don't do that. But you know what I mean. I'll be very surprised if she's still sat on the floor doing her homework. Oh look, she isn't. What a massive surprise. Okay, Blair, well, seeing as you're back... Oh, the laundry's still going. Christy, I am gonna have you visit apartment? Is any Does anyone live there? No one is available. Okay, is, is anyone... Let me just find out where this other teen lives. I can't remember what apartment I put him in. Okay, yeah, it is that one, and it looks like he is home, so let's just go over and visit, and then we'll do your homework. Get boyfriend first, then homework. Gotta have our priorities in order. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is my, um, my Instagram influencer's apartment. She's held up well after the update, I see. Where's the teenager, though? He's not at school, is he? Oh, so... Oh, there he is. Okay, let's go say hello to the boy. What's he doing? Sorting out his bills? Oh no, that's Rowan. He's not the teenager. He's just the guy that's trying it on with the influencer chick. Oh. Okay, well in that case, I'm just gonna go home and then try and try and keep my eye peeled. Oh, there he is. Hunter. Right. Cheerful introduction. Oh, he's just fucked off. Great. Great. And you didn't finish a single piece of your homework. Okay, Blair, go and move the laundry to the dryer. Clean lint tray, dry laundry, and then we'll do this load of washing as well. Otherwise, this place is going to turn into a state. Perfect, we got them both going. Sweet. Okay, Blair, I think it's probably a good time to have a look for a job. Oh, wait, let me just hang up your little graduation pick. There we go. Oh, it doesn't fit. Put it on the wall, though. There we go. Okay, let's find you a job, Blair. Okay, so we've got, we've got a head for the detective career. Oh, okay. This could be quite good as well. Oh, this one, though. 228. Might have to go for this one. Yeah, it's gotta be. It's gotta be Diamond Agent. Okay, we got a nice bonus. Healthy chunk of change there. Do you actually need anything to level 8 logic skill? Oh, we don't really have anything to build up logic, do we? Oh, we're not really blessed for space, though. I mean, I am planning on... Oh, look at all this shit we got. Oh, I am planning on moving house at some point. So I'm not gonna sell any of this. I'm just gonna pop it in my inventory just so that we still have some furnishings when we do move house, whether that be today or whenever. So maybe I'll just get like a little chess table or something. We need three skill levels, so can we just go and play chess? All right, cool, sweet. Ah. You do have the quick learner trait. I wonder how are we doing for reward? We don't really have many rewards, do we? Should have got her to attend guest lectures. All right, well, let's just settle down. Bailey's going to work on her logic. You're going to work on your homework. Unless that teenager comes back, I'll keep an eye out. I'm just going to have you two do homework and shit for the rest of the day. What is it with my neighbours just helping themselves into my house? Go away. Get the fuck out of here. When does Bailey have work? Tomorrow. Okay. Or Blair. Have I been calling... How... How off... Have I been calling her Bailey? Bailey, Blair, pretty similar. Okay, it's a new day, Sunday morning. Christy has done all of her homework, so we're ready for college tomorrow. We still haven't met the guy that lives next door, though, which is a bit annoying. I suppose we can try visiting again and see if he happens to be there. Worst case scenario, I can always teleport him. I'm not above doing that. Oh, there we go. He's thinking about crushing as well. Okay. Let's come, flirty introduction. We don't need to worry too much about friendship. Ask if single, maybe? Is that too forward for just meeting someone? Blow a kiss? Maybe just go straight in for the uh, romantic interactions. Oh, what's, what's that sentiment you've got? Crush, oh, how cute. Don't walk away from me. Every time we go near Hunter, he gets up and walks away. We must have quite a high charisma skill. What are we? Charisma level seven. Okay, yeah, we know what we're doing. We're socializing. We should be smashing this. Oh, charisma level eight. That's what we like to see. Can we go in for a first kiss? Are we going in for our very first kiss? Tell me we are. 
Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, this is becoming a very awkward encounter, so I think I'm just gonna head home. Go home, but we'll take Hunter with us. Okay, Hunter, I think we should maybe opt for a bit more privacy. Come with me, somewhere in private. Blair, why don't you grab some food? Because you still have a, um, you still have a logic skill to build. Also, Hunter, what the fuck? Okay, should we see if we can just go in for a kiss? Just a little cheeky one? Yeah, we can. Okay, great. She's not the most comfortable because she's a bit hungry, but let's just talk to Hunter, Christy. Okay, let's just get... Then maybe you can have a sandwich or something. Where are you going? You're supposed to be messing around. All because the bloody bed is against the wall. That's so stupid. There, is that better? Okay, I think it worked. Yes, it worked. Perfect. Okay, room's had a little bit of a rejig. Still looks as good though, I think. You are still going to maintain your A+, plus, Christy, whether you like it or not. Oh, Blair. <laughs> to be fair, she did walk in on your OnlyFans, so... Yeah, it could be worse. So, you kind of... You, you're going to have to let her get away with this one. Okay, you've got work in about an hour. We didn't get to level 8 in logic, but that's fine. We can work on that tonight. Okay, Christy, <laughs> grab yourself some mac and cheese. You've definitely earned it. And then maybe we'll sit on the throne and take a pregnancy test. Oh, Christy, are you as nervous as I am? Let's see. What's the verdict? What is it, Christy? Oh, not pregnant. Okay, well, Blair's gone to work, so let's just do it in the shower. It might be because it went, it, it goes under mess around rather than woohoo. Could that be the reason why? Oh. Oh, it happened. You did get pregnant. Oh, there we go. Oh, that wasn't so hard. Now she's very tense. Okay, well, good luck, Christy. Term starts tomorrow. Is Hunter still here? No, he's fucked off. He heard the news and ran. Ugh, oh, boys. On the bright side, even though you're tense about being underage pregnant, um, there is, I believe, some leftovers in the fridge. So it's not all a sad story. Okay, Christy can get some sleep. Blair's still at work. Oh, Blair looks dressed up for work. Okay, Blair's home. She earned just shy of two grand. Go get some sleep, Blair. Okay, is there anything I can do to try and help you deal with with your issues here. Uh, you could go get some craved food. Yeah, might make you feel better about your little predicament. In fact, what time, what time is your next class? Four hours, two days, two days, five hours, okay. Oh, Christy. You could go to counseling. Just be back by 9.30. Okay, she's back. She's now confident. She does still have an uncomfortable mood buff, but she is confident, so that's something. I think probably, probably we should tell Blair. Announce the pregnancy. Oh, that sink is filth. Animals. I wonder if Blair will re react with the whole, oh no, a teen is pregnant, because it's it's not her child. Oh no. They got pregnant, but didn't want to. Such a difficult situation, and it makes Blair troubled to hear about it. Well, yeah, I mean, you're going to be probably paying for it there, Blair. Oh, look who's fucking, oh yeah, walk away, straight away. Didn't even say hello. Oh, she did wave at him, but he, he was gone before he could wave back. Well, you've got class in five minutes, so try not to be so morning sicky. Hopefully she doesn't go into labour in the middle of a final exam. God, could you imagine? Right, Blair, let's get you to go and work on your your thinking a little bit. A little bit more logic. You're on, oh, logic level seven. Okay, one skill point away. Is that Bills? Yeah. Great. Okay, Christy is back. She did two good days at school. Christy, let's just see if we can quickly bang out that homework. How are your needs doing? Oh, you're fine, you're fine. You'll get a bit peckish, but then you'll be fine. Oh, you're too tense. Fuck's sake, Christy. Go to counselling again. Hunter's calling. You want to go for a date? Um, no, I kind of got a bit on my plate today, Hunter. Okay, you're back. Um, get yourself some food. And then maybe play a little bit of The Sims. Sims Forever. Let's just try and keep you happy enough to do some homework. That's going to be the biggest challenge that I didn't anticipate, was dealing with her being in a tense mood all the time. Okay, you're confident. Let me just pause this for a second. Make the most of your confident mood. Try and do some homework, please. Oh, she doesn't have her uncomfortable one now. She just has sad for being in her second trimester. God, this pregnancy is just going to fly by, isn't it? Look at Blair, though. Skill. Ah, almost level eight, Blair. Good for you. 
Shame about your sister, but good for you. Okay, let's grab some food. Is there anything else you need? Probably. Oh, you don't need the bathroom. Okay, so in that case, you've only got one piece of homework left to do, so let's do it. I think the counselling is kind of working. I think I'm going to try and send her for counselling as often as I can, because she's lost the original mood buff. Okay, I'm going to send you both to bed. There we go. This is challenging in a different way to the other ones, like managing her mood to get homework done and stuff. Oh, challenging, challenging. Different type of challenge, because the first three episodes was mainly about managing time. Okay, you're gonna have class soon, go get leftovers. You do also have some homework that you haven't done. Okay, and Blair, again, go practice your chess, girl, go practice your chess. What time's our next class? Oh, we don't have class for four hours. Okay, that's good. Okay, that means that once you finish your homework, I'm gonna send you to discover baby number and birth gender. And then also, we'll probably go to counseling again. Let's see if we can make peace before the baby gets here. Oh, are you already at level eight logic? Oh, brilliant, well done, Blair. What career level are we actually on? Level eight. So we only need two promotions before we're at the top of that career. Okay, go and pay the bills. Let's just get the power back on. There we go, perfect. Congratulations, you're pregnant with one baby. Your baby will be born a girl. Oh, there we go, one of us, one of us. I don't know why it looks like it's Blair instead of, it's definitely not Blair. Fucking better not be. No, she is definitely not the pregnant one. Okay, good. Back from counseling. How do we feel now? We've got less sad mood buffs. Do we have the option to accept the pregnancy now? No. The counselling isn't working so great, so what about if instead we just come and have some conversations with our big sis? We'll tell her that we're having a girl, one of us, express feelings about the pregnancy, and then maybe I'll get Blair to try and offer some reassuring words of wisdom, even though she herself has never been in this position before. Oh, Christy has class in about one hour, okay. Ask about pregnancy. We don't really have as many interactions given that we're not the parent, so we can't like try and reassure of her. Nice of you to ask him in my second trimester. I wasn't really wishing for a child right now. Pregnancy has its good days and bad days, but overall it's a beautiful experience. Oh, there we go. See, that wasn't a doom and gloom answer, was it? Maybe when you get back from class, well, from your classes, Christy, we'll go buy something for the baby. We still have a couple of days before we really need to worry about things like our final exam or our term paper. All right, go to class, have a good day. Oh, Christy can now take maternity leave. I guess that means that she's now, yeah, in her third trimester. Unwanted pregnancy, no going back. Motherhood worries. Oh, Christy. Okay, you know what? Go to counselling again. Go to counselling again. Costing me an arm and a leg counselling you. Okay, she's still very tense. All right, well, seeing as you're not going to make peace, go and play Sims again and then we'll bang out that homework. Uh, what are you doing, Blair? You playing a game? How are your needs? Ah, oh, your needs are all good. Oh, I don't know if we'll be getting any homework done tonight. She is very tense. Ah, oh, Christy, Christy, Christy. Oh, wait, we're happy, okay. Let's see if we can squeeze out a bit of homework. We just, we try and take these opportunities when we can. Ah, oh, that lasted for all about five seconds. What if I take a thoughtful shower? Let's try and get inspired instead of tense. Oh, for God's sake, nothing is overpowering this mood buff. You're not gonna get an A+. Okay, I'm just gonna try and get her to do a few interactions with Blair. Hopefully, maybe expressing feelings about the pregnancy or something could help her feel a bit better. Also, Blair, I am not ready for you to age into an adult. You're still a baby. Let's do 15 days. There we go, you still have a while left. Oh, hang on, hang on, we're inspired. Pause it, make the most of this moment. Okay, do some homework. Oh, for fuck's sake. She ran outside, left her homework book on the floor and is immediately very tense again. Oh, Christy, you're, you're really turning out to be such a fucking hemorrhoid for me, honestly. Pain in my asshole. Please just do some homework. I imagine we will be having this baby today. Hopefully we can get through our classes. But yeah, I'm, I'm thinking when we get back, we might just have this babe. She might even go into labor while she's in the middle of a class. Okay, have fun at uni, okay. 
Also, I like how Blair has gotten herself into the, the routine of um, instead of sleeping, she now just drinks coffee. She's doing that it she's doing that off her own back. Good for you, Blair. Good for you. Okay, you're back from class. When's your next one? Oh, not for two days. You've got ages. Okay, right. We need to buckle down, sunshine. Okay, so we've got two days, so Friday. We're gonna have our final exam and we're gonna have to give our presentations and all that stuff. Plus we need to find room here to put a baby crib. We haven't really bought anything in preparation for the baby. Well, we just don't really have the space, do we? If I move this little chair over here and then we'll put a cute little, little bassinet over here. There we go. At least now we've got a bed for the baby. Okay, let's see if we can write a term paper for all's well that vends well. Let's start somewhere, shall we? See if we can get it up to excellent quality. Have a great day at work, Blair. Hopefully you get a promotion. In fact, I'm just going to send her to set her to work hard because she deserves a promotion. Oh shit. The baby's being born. She's gone into labor. All right, we'll go take a shit and then oh, a career case. Blair stares at a crime map that Blair's pieced together thanks to her rigorous undercover work. Red strings tie together a network of thugs. It's the culmination of her time spent infiltrating an international crime ring. Taking down this organisation would be the crowning achievement of her career, allowing her to blow her cover and take an early retirement. She thinks Blair's gathered enough evidence, but you can never be too careful with an operation of this scale. What should she do? will gain fame and reputation but will retire from her job. Well, obviously, continue gathering evidence, not unless they're going to give me like 50 grand or something. Let's continue writing term paper until we we have to push, okay? Make the most of the piece. Oh, it's her term paper is pretty poor quality, apparently. Okay, well, maybe take a nap. See how long you can sleep before the baby comes. Wait, why are you saying social services have provided a bassinet when there's a bassinet right there? Okay, I guess that's an extra 150 simoleons for us. Oh no, don't have the baby there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Everything I'm trying to do is just getting ruined in this video. And that baby's just going to be an object now, so we won't be able to use this one. Ah, uh, we'll call her Jilly. All right, well then, go take a shit. I'll move Jilly back to over here. I guess we won't use the nice crib. We'll use this one. Okay, baby's crying. That's fine, that's fine. We'll attempt to bond with Jilly. Breastfeed her. That's a bonding experience, isn't it? <laughs> she, she does not look happy. Okay, let's just keep attempting to bond. Oh, Christy really doesn't feel like interacting with the baby right now. Ah, uh, okay. Well, maybe just grab a plate of this and then go to sleep. Oh, no promotion for Blair. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, let's, every time we get the option to attempt to bond with Jilly, we'll just, we'll try that. Okay, let's wake up, seeing as we're not completely tired, and then edit your term paper, now that you're in a happy mood. We're not tense anymore. Oh, for fuck's sake, now you've gone tense. Of course you fucking have. Aw, that's cute. This is Blair's relationship with Jilly. Friend, childhood buds. A neutral relationship with an ally sibling and her niece. That is so cute. Oh no, Christy's going through a phase. She's going to be distant and will prefer to be alone for a while. And the baby's crying. But you know what, Blair? Auntie Blair? You can you can come take care of this. Because Christy's got to buckle down. She's got to buckle down and get her term paper written. There we go. That's better. I'm worried, though, that because our initial written term paper was poor quality, I'm worried that it's still going to come out being like not excellent bad quality christy's paper is looking good at this point further editing won't help uh should we just try writing a new one all together what have we what have we got outstanding okay perfect sub submit it get it sent dirty diaper on the floor beautiful and we also need to gather some information i think is that the baby's handprints there stick that on the wall as well that's cute and then Blair's diploma as well. Yeah, that is looking lovely. Okay, Christy, capture some information. And then Blair can just interact with the baby for a little bit. Okay, I think, Christy, you can take a little break from the baby. I know being near the baby is stressing you out. So why don't you just go get some leftovers? Blair can help out with the babe. Get some leftovers and then revisit your presentation. I don't think we have any classes, do we? Wait, do we? Yeah, we've got class in two hours and then class again in three hours. Oh, okay. Well, Blair's going to have to look after the baby until she goes to work and then I guess we're going to need a nanny or something. Uh-oh, baby's crying. 
Blair's got to go to work. Okay, Jilly's been sent to daycare. Perfect. Hopefully she's not crying when she gets back. Okay, Christy, you're back. Um, refine and organize. Okay, presentation ready to be given. What final exams do we have? Taming of the crew. So I think what we'll do is we will study Taming of the Crew. We'll study that for a couple of hours till about half seven. Jilly, you just wait, okay? Stop being so impatient. And then I guess we'll go back to... Blair is currently missing work. No, I don't think she should miss work. And then we will go back to studying. Oh, no. Oh, is it only 750 to replace it? Okay, fuck it. For the sake of laziness and give us more time to study, go and study again. It's Jilly's birthday. The time does fly, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I wasn't expecting... We don't even have a house. I was gonna... I was hoping we'd be able to move into a house, but we haven't really been that profitable. I kind of decided after Blair finished um, uni that we'd, we'd stop using Only Sims, but I'm thinking I might reinstall it for the next episode. I'm probably going to do two episodes. We're going to play through Christie's entire university thing. Okay, and then King Jeer was the other one we have a degree for. We have a final exam for so study for King Jeer as well so we have a final exam at 11 a.m. tomorrow and then another one at 9 30 so hopefully we'll be done with our exams by lunchtime okay Blair feed the baby go to bed oh this is exhausting okay needs aren't looking too bad considering it's late and it's the night before our final exams and our final presentations I think we're doing pretty well that's probably enough studying, so let's just go take a shit, see if we can get a few hours of sleep, and then we will smash our final day of term. If that baby will let us sleep, eventually. Alright, Christy, wake up, it's go time, get some leftovers, we're gonna bang out these exams, we're gonna get it done, girl, we're gonna get it done. Okay, Christy has gone to her final exam, Blair, you're gonna be off, so you may as well... You may as well be in charge of Tilly today. Okay, she's back from one exam. She should be just about... Yeah, she's just heading off to the next one. I like it when final exams are one right after the other because then you can just get it out the way and then as soon as we get back, we're just going to straight away go and deliver our final presentation and then we don't have to worry about this course anymore. Not for a few days, anyway. I like how... So Blair has got to level four of the parenting skill. I wonder where the actual parent has got to. Parenting... Oh, she hasn't even... She hasn't even established it yet. <laughs> she hasn't even acquired the parenting skill. Oh, Christy, that's what big sisters are for, isn't it? Oh, you're back? Okay, we're back. Final exams, done. Final presentation, done. So now we just have to wait. We sit and we wait. Oh, actually, to be fair, teenagers can't get the parenting skill, so I think I was a bit harsh making that comment. Oh, okay. B minus for Taming of the Crew. I guess we didn't study enough for those two. So we've got an A GPA. Well, that's still pretty good. And we've got a distinguished degree. So we'll sign up for another four classes. We've got enough. We don't have to take out a loan this time. Okay. One final semester left. And on that note, I think I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, you know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!